Hello friends, uh, I am Professor Vagmadi <coughs> BR. Today we will discuss the topic on crop production uh, technology of uh, vermilion. First one, the botanical name of vermilion that is uh, um, Penicetum uh, typhoids or the Penicetum uh, glaucum. And then family belongs to that is the Gramini. Then uh, origin of uh, vermilion that is from uh, Africa. Next one that is area and distribution of uh, permillet. The permillet is an important cereal crop uh, in the world. As the permillet growing countries are India, uh, Nigeria, uh, then uh, Africa, Sudan, uh, etc. Then in India, uh, in India the permillet growing states that is Rajasthan, Maharashtra, Gujarat, Uttar Pradesh and the Haryana, etc. And among states, uh, Rajasthan occupies the highest area and the production of uh, Bajra or the permalet followed by uh, Maharashtra and the Gujarat. Next one, the economic importance or the uses of uh, permalet. As the uh, permalet is or uh, the Bajra, it is an important staple food crop next to the wheat, rice, uh, uh, then sorghum. Then it can uh, provide uh, more food for poor <coughs> peoples within a short period of time in a relatively short dry, uh, so relatively dry tract areas. That's why it is called as the poor man's food. This is an important uh, aspect that is uh, per minute is called as a poor man's food. And then per minute uh, grain is rich in minerals, uh, iron as well as fat content. And then grains possesses uh, higher protein content that is uh, 11, uh, 10 to 14 percent with the higher levels of uh, essential amino acids. Then per minute is commonly known as Basra in India. Is rich in uh, essential compounds like protein, fiber, phosphorus, magnesium, uh, and the iron. And then permalet is uh, adapted to warm uh, and dry climate, but the greatest area of the crop is cultivated in the uh, drought prone areas uh, in the world. And in areas where the permalet is grown with the limited inputs in the conditions of the sparse rainfall, low soil fertility, and the face uh, disease and pest problems with the correspondingly poor yields. Then Basra is a rich source of uh, insoluble fiber that is the uh, useful for the uh, digestion and then helps to uh, also prevent the cancer. The Basra has the cancer protecting property. Then uh, the, uh, permanent is an important food crop followed by the rice and wheat and the permanent grains are commonly used for making bakri or the roti and it is a drought tolerant uh, uh, among the cereals and the millets and the grains are cooked like rice and prepared uh, uh, from the flowers uh, used as a food for the dairy cattle and the dairy animals and the grains of the permalet that is broken grains are used as feed for uh, poultry and also the provides green fodder for, for, for the live, uh, animals. This is the economic importance or the uh, uses of uh, permalet and next one the uh, nutritional uh, importance of permit as the gluten free this is the first nutritional importance of permit that is wheat is uh, most abundantly consumed in the cereal world along with the rice and corn but it contains gluten which is the protein uh, that uh, uh, causes the uh, gastrointestinal problems like the bloating or uh, platelets and the irritable bowel syndrome on the contrary per and the permalet <coughs> is a gluten free and most commonly used as a substitute of for people <coughs> with gluten allergy and next uh, importance as a nutritional that is enrich the vital vitamins that is vitamin b and the rich amount of the iron and then uh, magnesium calcium then phosphorus and the manganese and potassium as well as copper zinc and the chromium and it is known as the highest level of uh, potassium calcium and the iron among the other cereals and third one that is best plant uh, best protein source as the, you must add a uh, permalet to be <coughs> to your diet if you are looking for the plant based uh, source of protein as uh, it contains approximately 14 percent protein and then uh, most of the uh, and it becomes the more um, best source of protein among the common millet varieties and then uh, rich in uh, antioxidant property as it kills the free radicals so that cause damage to the body at the cellular level and damage associated with the 
many diseases and disorders as there is uh, palmillet are the resource of the antioxidants and then perfect food for babies uh, as the millet is an excellent food for the babies from 6 months age it is the easily digestible and uh, has a lot of nutrients until the age of uh, uh, one year of age babies could be fed fed with the millets uh, after it is powder or made it the porridge for, for after one year of the age, uh, child start to eat solid food and can feed with the flat breads made with the per millet. This is the nutritional uh, importance of uh, per millet. And then uh, next one, the health benefits of uh, per millet that is the treat the iron deficiency that is anemia. Uh, per millet is very rich uh, source of iron. Recently, new varieties of the per millet like the Maha Shakti, then Adi Shakti, then Dhan Shakti are the richest source of <coughs> iron hybrids which will be used for uh, the source of uh, iron to avoid the or uh, to treat the iron deficiency and then uh, reduce the blood sugar level as the pearl meat is very uh, 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 effectively used to maintain the normal blood sugar levels and it has a high fiber content uh, which slows down digestion and releases the glucose uh, into the blood at a uh, slower rate and thereby helps to maintain normal blood sugar levels for the comparatively longer duration of time. Then uh, it helps with the weight loss. It has the main uh, or high fiber content and usually takes longer time for cereal grain or to, uh, to move out the uh, from the stomach to small in the intestines. Hence the formulate so subsidize the hunger for a longer duration of time and eventually the leading to lesser intake of calories and thereby helps the <coughs> lose the weight <coughs> then reduces the cholesterol the pearl millet contains chemical known as phytic acid which is uh, uh, proposed to increase the cholesterol uh, metabolism uh, thereby stabilizing the cholesterol level in the body and it also helps uh, contain uh, also contains the vitamins that is niacin which uh, reduces the cholesterol level uh, this is the <laughs> nutritional uh, or the health benefits of formulate and next point that is the uh, soil and climatic conditions uh, requirement for the cultivation of permit or the ecological conditions that is first one soil permit can be grown on uh, all types of soils and uh, so be soil should be well drained and fertile in sandy loam and uh, two clay loam soils are ideal for the permit and soils should have high water holding capacity then water logging soils are not suitable for the per millet cultivation and pH range should be 6.5 to 7.5. Then climate, the, uh, as a <coughs> per millet is a tropical crop or it is a scarif season crop, it requires hot and humid climate, also requires the warm weather. Then uh, during low temperature, uh, especially flowering in flowering stage, causes the sterility of pollen grains and helps to reduce, uh, then uh, it, uh, can reduce the crop yield. Then high humidity and low temperature uh, at flowering increases chances of flower rot and the uh, mortality of pollen tubes and the optimum temperature required for the permeate cultivation that is 27 to 30 degrees Celsius and the uh, tillering and the uh, grain growth stage requires the bright sense and hours for the better development of uh, crops and to get more yield. This is the uh, ecologic conditions uh, required for cultivation of uh, permeate. Next one, the field or land preparation. As the per millet is shallow of uh, adventitious roots uh, rooted crop, it uh, requires one deep plowing uh, uh, for, with the help of uh, iron plows or the moldable plows for control of insect pest and the weeds. And then followed by two to three harrowing operations are required to make ideal seed bed. That is the fine seed bed required for per millet seed because uh, uh, the permeate crop because uh, permeate crop seeds are very uh, are the small in size as hence it requires the firm loose or the fine the type of seed bed for better germination and growth of uh, crop next point that is the seeds and sowing in that uh, that is first point that is seed rate uh, required for a uh, per hectare cultivation of per millet that is 4 to 5 kg per hectare and the sowing time uh, in, in the month of June to July. And then spacing uh, in between plant to plant or row to row that is 45 by 10 or 15 centimeter and sowing depth that is 2 to 3 centimeter. Then uh, sowing methods that is transplanting, broadcasting, drilling or uh, the dibbling method. 
it is in case especially in the permulate that is a popular method of sowing that is transplanting where where there is a crowding of the seedlings will be observed uh, the extra seeds are to be used uh, uh, during sowing then will be seedlings are to be thin out or to thin out the plant population and whatever the seedlings are uprooted should be transplanted whenever the gaps was uh, found uh, that's uh, this is that that is the concepts of concept of uh, transplanting and then uh, another method that is broadcasting drilling or uh, the dibbling uh, as a seed or uh, the economic uh, mm-hmm. part or uh, to get the economic yield uh, uh, in bazra there is a popular method the drilling method is uh, co- popularly used in the sowing of uh, for the sowing of uh, permulate then seed treatment especially in the permulate before sowing uh, uh permeate seeds are treated with the <coughs> uh thyrum or captain at the rate of 3 gram per uh, kg of seeds helps to prevent the seed as well as the soil borne diseases and then seeds are also soaked with the 30% brine solution that is 3 kg common salt in uh, 10 liter of water for 1 to uh, 2 hours helps to prevent the aragot disease uh, infection then seeds are also treated with the bio fertilizer like azotobacter or the as a spiral amount the rate of 25 g per kg helps to increase the atmospheric nitrogen fixation and also improve the um, <coughs> plant growth among the seed uh, treatment the major one that is the brine, 30% brine solution treatment for especially control of this uh, argot disease because this is a major disease of uh, um, permulate next point that is varieties and hybrids Uh, in the uh, permeate crop the, there are different types of variety there is co1 it is going to 6 pusa sape then ic me221 and then rcb2 among the hybrids there is popular uh, uh, hybrid that is sraddha saburi shanti phule uh, adi shakti then dhan shakti then phule maha shakti these are the popular varieties released in the mahatma phule krishi vidyapeeth rauri and the <coughs> under the section uh, there is a, a agriculture college uh, dure uh, then uh, other hybrid that is hb1 hb2 hb3 hb4 hb5 then gb h32 coh12 and among the, the hybrids the most popular uh, as a source of uh, or rich source of iron that is dhan shakti which is used uh, release for as a source of uh, or iron rich uh, uh, hybrids uh, especially for to avoid the iron deficiency or the anemia Uh, these are the uh, some of photographs that is this is one the sraddha genotype and then uh, hybrid uh, then saburi then shanti then phule mahashakti then phule uh, adi shakti then the, uh, <coughs> this is a dhan shakti hybrid next point uh, that is the manures and fertilizer or the nutrient requirement or the management mm-hmm. of fertilizer requ- uh, management for uh, cultivation of permulate that is a uh, manures uh, uh, 10 to 15 tons of uh, uh, fom or compost per hectare should be applied at the time of final and preparation or before one month of sowing and then recommended dose of fertilizer that is 160 40 kg npk per hectare or 120 60 40 kg npk per hectare or 150 40 kg npk per hectare should be applied uh, for the Uh, per millet uh, crop uh, as a nutri- uh, nutrient requirement and the among these uh, uh, full dose of nitrogen uh, that is uh, the, there will be there will be there will be divided into the two splits equal splits that is half dose of nitrogen and the full dose of p and k should be applied at the time of sowing and the remaining uh, half dose of uh, nitrogen should be applied at vegetative or the tillering or the flowering stage these are the Uh, different stages that is seedlings uh, the uh, sowing then germination then seedling establishment then tillering stage jointing heading flowering grain filling maturity among these stages uh, most uh, <coughs> highly responsive to the nutrient uh, uh, requirement especially nitrogen or the uh, npk that is this from tillering or uh, the jointing to flowering stage uh, the heading stage Uh, this is a <coughs> highly responsive stage uh, next one uh, that is the irrigation management or water management or water requirement for, for the permulate uh, that is the permulate is a uh, most commonly grown in kharif season and therefore it does not require uh, any irrigation if rains are received timely 
and the permillate is a uh, is a drought resistant crop. Uh, as it requires only one or two irrigations to complete its life cycle. As the, uh, this crop is uh, commonly or popularly called as a femoral crop, which requires hardly one to two irrigations. The irrigations should be applied uh, at the as per the critical growth stages, uh, as mentioned in this uh, image. That is the uh, tillering is the most uh, uh, sensitive or critical growth stage of permeate for irrigation. Then afterwards, that is the uh, flowering uh, stage. Uh, that is the seedling stage, uh, tillering stage, then panicle initiation, then flowering and the green filling. These are the important critical growth stages of uh, permeate. Among these uh, important critical growth stage, that is the most critical, that is tillering stage. Uh, you have to apply irrigations. That is only one, hardly one irrigations or two irrigations are required. That is should apply at tillering and the flowering stage. Next one, uh, that is the weed management. The most important weeds grow in permeate are cyanodon, dactylon, then uh, cypress rotundus, then parthenium, then amaranthus, etc. The most problematic weed found in the permeate, uh, that is the partial root parasitic weed, called as the striga. This is a photograph of <coughs> parthenium, uh, so, sorry, striga weed. And this can be controlled only by the way of uh, or to practice that is crop rotation as well as to spray the crop uh, uh, spray with the stragol or ethylene spray for control of this stragol weed. Then uh, along with the one hoeing and two, th two to three hand weeding operations are required to make the uh, weed free crop environment and then also if the hand weeding or uh, hoeing operation is not possible due to heavy rains, uh, you have to apply or uh, spray the herbicides like atrazine at the rate of one kg active ingredient per hectare in, in 1000 liter of water per hectare. Then striga weed can be controlled on, uh, by means of the strigol or the ethylene chemical and also controlled by the uh, crop rotation. Next one uh, that is pest and disease or plant protection of the in, in permeate. That is major pest uh, that is blister beetle, then white grub, then shoot fly, then stem borer, grasshopper, aphids, acids. Among these pests, uh, the major infested or major pest uh, occurring in permeate field that is the blister beetle. It, uh, in the, the, this is a major pest of permeate. It can feed the pollen grains. Uh, uh, during flowering, it will be in, have the more incidence of this blister beetle and can control with the uh, by dusting the malathion or spraying of the endosulfan at the rate of one liter in one thousand liter of water or the 2 ml per liter of water and then dusting with 5% carbaryl or malathion dust at the rate of 25 to uh, 25 kg per hectare along with the clean cultivation or timely weeding and then timely sowing and then uh, 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 maintaining proper uh, spacing uh, between the plant to plant are uh, to be followed and, uh, and the uh, pest infected plant parts should be removed and uh, collect and destroyed with the or either by burning and this is the control measures uh, for the pest. Next one, the uh, diseases, uh, in the in diseases there is a major disease that is argot. Uh, uh, then uh, other diseases are downy mildew, then anthracnose, then smart and the rust. Among these all diseases, the argot is the major disease. Uh, if the <coughs> argot infested plants are to be found in field, should be collected and destroyed. Uh, properly and then uh, so seeds are treated with 2 gram thyram uh, per kg of seeds then also uh, grow resistant varieties then spray with the crop that is 1.5 gram vitavex in 1000 liter of water uh, or the brine solution uh, treatment should be given before sowing for the control of this uh, argot disease and then uh, next point that is harvesting and yield the signs of maturity uh, for the Harvesting of permit, that is yellowing of leaves, then stripping of leaves, stem become greenish to yellow or brown in color, then color of peduncle turns greenish to yellow or whitish, then seed becomes hard and tough and then metallic sound comes when the <coughs> grains are kept under teeth and then uh, harvesting is done either by cutting the entire plant or removing the air at first and the cutting the down the plant uh, later. Then after harvesting, the air heads are dried under sun. Threshing is done uh, by either by threshing machine and the thresh material should be cleaned properly and dried under sun. Then it will be packed in green bags and then yield of uh, permeate will uh, 
get uh, that is uh, 12 to 15 quintal per hectare or 15 to 20 quintal per hectare or sometime 20 to 25 quintal per hectare it depends on the management or the uh, climatic conditions of field uh, management uh, this is the today's topic about the cultivation or the crop production technology of uh, per millet thank you